Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about four types of social theories of aging, role theory, theory of human development, exchange theory, and general transcendence theory. Role theory. Role theory is the first attempt to describe how people adapt to aging. Roles refer to the social position people have, example, teacher, mother, and customer, and behavior associated with that position. People often fulfill a set of roles at the same time, example, mother, director, and child, and this set may change over the life course. Older people tend to lose more roles than they gain, for example, losing roles such as parents, spouse, worker, and active member of society. Volunteering and helping others can act as substitutes for roles lost over the life course. For example, becoming a volunteer after retirement may alleviate any negative consequences associated with losing the worker role. Main concepts of role theory Roles are described as social beings that have the foundation of self idea and identity. Age norms take into account age related abilities and limitations that have been established. Roles are related to one's age or stage of life. Older adults take new roles and must deal with the loss of past roles. Life course perspective is based on the work by a sociologist that concentrate on the social pathways that shape the sequence. In addition, it is also a property of cultures and social institutions, and the individuals a chance to shape new roles and relationships throughout their life. There are five basic concepts of life course perspective. First is cohort, next transition, trajectory, life events, and the last one is turning point. Lifespan development, based on the work of Paul Baltz, a German psychologist. It is a full process of human development from conception to death, and Baltz creates an approach called lifespan perspective. There are six lifespan perspectives. First, development is a lifelong process. Second, development is multidimensional, involves the dynamic interaction of factors. Third, development is multidisciplinary. Fourth, development involves both gain and loss. Next, development is plastic, meaning that it is malleable and changeable. Last, development is influenced by contextual and sociocultural. Theory of Human Development, Erickson's and Pat. Erickson's theory stated that people aged 65 years old until death or called as late adulthood people tend to reflect on their life and feel sense of satisfaction or sense of failure. This was stated in the last stage of Erickson's eighth stage of psychosocial development which is called as integrity versus despair. The sense of integrity happen when they proud of their success. This will enable them to look back on their life with a little regret, such as people who were in government sector who have pension, people who have a good relationship with family and partner. The sense of despair happen when people feel as their life have been wasted and look back at their life with many regrets. They tend to concentrate on what may have, should have and could have happened. They face the end of their life with feelings of depression. Now, let's look into Peck's social theory of aging developed by Robert Peck. This theory is an expansion from Erickson's eighth stage of psychological development, which is ego integrity versus despair. This stage begins at age 65 years old and ends at death. Peck has divided this stage into three developmental tasks for older adults. The first stage explains what are going to happen after retirement. Are they redefine themselves such as being a grandfather on the left? Or are they still value that working is their job? Next, the body and changes. Wrinkles is a part of getting older. Are they accept their physical changes on the left? Or are they planning for plastic surgery? And the last stage is about ego and death. Are the person worried about death as they did not contribute enough to society? Or are they satisfied with their life and accept death is coming on the left side? Exchange Theory Introduction This theory was proposed by James Down in 1975. It is originally derived from the social exchange theory. Exchange theory perceived loss of status and power is associated with aging. The purpose of this theory is to maximize benefits and minimize costs. Benefits are things that you get out of the relationship, such as fun, friendship, companionship, and social support. While costs involve things that you see as negative, 
such as having to put money, time and effort into a relationship. Importance of exchange for elderly Positive social exchanges can provide support and buffer against stress. Support exchanges also are very important to health and well-being. Zero Transcendence Theory This theory states that human development is a lifetime process that continues into old age, which means this theory is a natural developmental process. When optimized, it will lead to a new perspective, and this process involves a development in which people gradually change their basic conception, resulting in a shift of their definition of reality. It is concerned to phenomena which are the elderly person and the aging process itself. The sign of zero transcendence can be described as ontological changes on three levels or we call three dimensions of zero transcendence, which are cosmic level, the level of self and also the level of social and personal relations.